We're going to attempt to do this exact same code in Fuel with, with JSON and do the same thing with coroutines. So the first thing you need to do is to go to Anko's repo, go to wiki and go to coroutines and add that dependency to your build at Gradle. The compiler right here. Um, and mine's at 0 0.10.1. Now we, we need to create our asynchronous task. So on the UI thread, we're doing that. Make sure you add the coroutines one, not the original one. Coroutines for the UI and now the background. We're going to do the same thing as on the bottom. So we can, we can compare which one um, looks nicer, I guess. Response object. Serializer. And that's it. There, we're not doing the lambda. We just need a wait. Dot. No, I want only the result. I want the component one, which is going to be the array, the animal. We're just doing that in the background here to make it a little easier. So now we only have the animals. For each. I'm going to do the same as on the bottom with the creature. That. And pretty much that's on that. That'll work the same exact way this is going to work. Um, now if you look at it, uh, this one does seem a lot more cluttered. Um, there's a lot more going on over here. Doesn't really make any sense. Like a wait dot third. What does third mean? And uh, component one. What does component one mean? When I first look at this, it looks like uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Until I look at the variable, I know there's... This is an array of um, animals, that animals as plural. And I'm doing a for each on here. Um, so far, I like this syntax a lot better for fuel. Mainly because we don't have really any callbacks on here. We just simply have this lambda, which makes everything a lot nicer. And we can make this look a lot nicer with uh, just doing that. Uh, so. If you're doing anything with lambdas, I would highly recommend doing this as of right now for, for syntax re reasons. This one just looks, with coroutines, it looks just um, not as good, a little clunky, and yeah, it's not as good. So I'd, I would recommend just using the fuel regular async 